kind of lunatics would want to go to a haunted house on holiday? Lord of Goggle and family. That would explain it. Get ready to hide behind the sofa because the Spooky Goggle special is on next. Word up. There's a squeaking crazy cat in the place to be. This kid's not sure of the freshest moves and triple cool flavor. Hey, wait here. Where have you been, my brother? We've been looking all over for you. Hey, hold it. Doesn't matter where his bean is, where he's at. Wayne Head, next week on CITV. If you don't want to do the washing up too often, do it badly. <laughs> Oh, no, I've forgotten this. Now the water's all greasy. Oh, really? It's all right for you. You're the expert. Well, you're doing brilliantly. Fairy liquid captures greasy dirt and holds onto it. So even at the end of the wash, a glass can still come out sparkling. See? Looks as good as the first one. You can wash up more often. <laughs> fairy. Trust Fairy to do the dirty work. To celebrate their 40th birthday, the Smurfs are having a party. You can find one of ten little blue Smurfs inside every McDonald's Happy Meal box. From here on in, we get serious! Understood? Enter a world of excitement and adventure. Where are we? Using your wits to avoid being on something's lunch menu. What in the world is that? It's like a jungle out there. Where am I? The Realm of Jumanji, next week on CITV. But now it's time to join Gordon Goggle and family for the first part of the Spooky Goggle special. Gordon Goggle, that's the name. Don't wear it out. Oh, what are you playing at, Gordon? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Curse of the Bride of Frankenstein, eh? <laughs> Picking up a few beauty hits, are you, my darling? Don't be so cheeky, Gordon. <laughs> Especially not today, of all days. Eh? What's so special about today, then? Happy 20th wedding anniversary, Mum and Dad. Oh, you remember. Thank you, Gabby. Oh, thank you, Gabby. Oh, Gordon, put these in the bowl. Yes, yes. Right. Oh, uh, by the way, happy 20th wedding anniversary, my dear. I thought you'd forgotten. Forget me? <laughs> Would I? Yeah. Hang on. Here we go. Now I know you're joking, Gordon. Because not even you would try and palm me off with a cheap teddy you won at a fun fair. Wouldn't I? Nah, of course I wouldn't. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. here's your prezi. Oh. Ooh. Hang on. Oh, oh. I say you wrapped it up well. <laughs> Teach yourself French. Your father and I went on our honeymoon to a lovely romantic chateau in France. Chateau? It's French for hat, isn't it? No, chapeau is a hat. Chateau means a big house. What's French for clever, Dick? And do you know what your father said to me on our honeymoon night? Gloria, please, it's embarrassing. Not in front of her children. He said, Gloria, when we've been married for 20 years, we're going to come back to the same house in France because we'll still be as much in love then as we are today. I've never forgotten that. And neither has your father. <laughs> so, I'll go and get my suitcase packed for our romantic second honeymoon. Woo! You'd forgotten, hadn't you? Only somebody very stupid would forget something as important as that. I'd rest my case. Just pass me that telephone and the number of the travel agent. <sighs> Honestly. This is gonna cost me. It's criminal. Ah! 
Oops. Sorry, boss. Oh, oh sweet. Get the window off my face. Fairground owner in Britain. There must be something here worth nicking. Lovely fluffy toys. Oh, shut up. The safe. Right. We'll blow that open and steal what's inside. Fingers, give me the dynamite now. Uh, what dynamite? You dimwit. Now how we can open a safe? Andy Burglar's bag and get out of here. Uh, what Andy Burglar's bag? Numbskull! Mo. Ah, Mr. Benson Phillips, always a pleasure to have a celebrity such as yourself staying with us here at the Goggles Guest House. Uh, yes, well, look, uh, there's a problem with my room. Really? It's got all the facilities, hot and cold running water. Exactly, and that hot and cold running water is running down my wall. Ah, uh, and he's on a moment longer, pour for vol, Ray. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we won't charge you any extra. Yeah, yeah, but you will get it fixed, won't you? Ah. Oh. Slight problem on the maintenance side of things. Uh, next week suit you? Oh, it's a shame about that, because I would hate to have to tell all my many show business chums that you wouldn't get any value for money here at your guest house. Oh, leave it with me. Rest assured it'll be done straight away. Right. Uh, je need these directiones to the chateau. Hmm? I need you to tell me where to go. Don't tempt me, Gordon. Well, never mind. See you boo later. Oh. Here. We are going to that same chateau we went to 20 years ago, aren't we? Oh, uh, well, where did you get this suitcase from? I've never seen it before. It was up in the attic. Gary got it down for me. <laughs> what? I don't know why you're laughing. It was nice of him to be so helpful. I didn't laugh. <laughs> Better keep you covered up, Frenchie. Don't want to scare the family just yet. This program to bring you an urgent local news flash. Police are investigating a robbery at Funnerama Fairground. Funnerama Fairground? That's just down the road Early from here. This morning, thieves stole jewellery worth almost £50,000 from the offices of Bobby Chuckles, Britain's richest fairground owner. Four years later, now back to. Gloria Goggle, how does it feel to be married to a caring abbey who's whisking you away on a romantic second honeymoon? Just you and me. Oh, yeah, meant to talk to you about that. Mum, have you got... Oh, now, Gabby, you make sure you and your brother behave yourselves whilst we're away. Don't go causing problems for your grand. Oh, they won't be any bother to me. Because they're going to France with you. That's right. And... What? Of course they're coming with us. The better company than you are. Ah, oh, poor Papa, c'est très chic, n'est-ce pas? You go and wash your mouth out, Gabby Goggle. It's French, Dad. At least I can speak the language. Well, so can I. <clears throat> Bonjour, Monsieur. Come on, Savannah. Oh! Well, my pronunciation wasn't that bad, was it? It's that suitcase. What's the matter with it? It's. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Haunted. Haunted? Haunted. What's the matter? You 
Gran thinks that this suitcase is haunted. That suitcase belonged to your great, 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 great Uncle Horace. He never went anywhere without his top hat, did great, 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 great Uncle Horace. And one day, great, 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 uh, great... Listen, great... listen, listen, listen. Could we just lose all the greats, please? Cos I've got things to do. We've got a ferry to catch. Well, one day, great Uncle Horace was going on his holidays. And he reached for his suitcase on top of the wardrobe. And it toppled right down on top of him. Oh, looks. Did great, great Uncle Horace die? Oh, no. He just bruised his behind. As a matter of fact, Uncle Horace lived for another 50 years after that, and he always blamed the pain of his bruised bum on that suitcase. And he swore that one day he'd come back and haunt it. <laughs> I've heard anything quite so daft. <laughs> now, before oh. we go, before we go, I've got to go and fix the plumbing in Dave Benson Phillips' bedroom. So yeah. Things, and we'd better open the car and load this suitcase, yeah. haunted or not. Right, soon get the problem with your waterworks sorted out, Dave. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, going on holiday with that haunted suitcase. I'll be fine, Mum. We don't know for definite it was great, 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 great Uncle Horace's suitcase anyway. Oh well, if you're sure. Yeah, then... yeah, now, are you sure you'll be all right here on your own? Gary tells me there are two thieves on the loose. Don't be daft. I'm a security officer and I've got a black belt in karaoke. Of course I'll be all right. Oh, well, don't forget Dave in room thirteen. Look in on him from time to time, will you? Yeah, yeah. Right. Take care then, Mum. Mwah. Come on, Gordon. Yeah, come the kids on. are in the car. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> Lucky mascot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're left over. Oh, fingers, you numbskull! That jewelry went for something to seize us. Didn't you hear the radio reports? Yeah. Hey, we were on the radio. Yeah. You had the old bill on to us. Hmm. What did you say? I said, who's the old bill? The police. <laughs> the sooner we get to France, the better. <laughs> Teddy, we're nearly in France! Are we nearly there yet, boss? I'm still feeling icky. Oh, spare me the details. Don't hold that bag on the side. I'll come away from the side. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Sorry, that hooter gave me a nasty shock. The back, the back. Oh. Sorry, right, I've got it. There you go. No problem. Yeah. Right, me. Check it's got, you know what, inside. Are you going anywhere nice in France? Who wants to know? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Boss says we've got to wait until the heat dies down. Yeah. I can't stay out in the sun without burning either. Anyway, better get off. Back to the car. We're off to the Chateau de Fenton. Yeah, well, don't let us keep you. Yeah. Oh, Boss is going for a go! Oh. Oh. If you ever need anywhere to stay in Hilltop Bottom, yeah, look us up. Hilltop Bottom. That's right next to the Funorama Fairground where we do. Oh, the bird about that jewel robbery. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I heard about that. Nasty. All those jewels got stolen. Anyway, don't forget, look us up at the goggles guest house. Gordon! Get back here! I don't know what's worse Mum's voice or the ship's hooter. <laughs> Haunted 
loaded suitcase or not, it's a perfect place to put your map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be as having to laugh at. We, we weren't, weren't laughing. laughing. Oh, I've suddenly got all chilly. Yeah, we should have remembered to wear your vest like I did. And you should have remembered the way to the Chateau La Moor. Look, we should have turned left two kilometres back. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that place was too expensive. Uh, it was fully booked, fully booked, and the travel oh. agents did recommend the Chateau de Fantôme. Well, do what? Hola. Is there a problem? Mademoiselle, à votre service. No problemo, Monsieur Gendarme. Vous read the rooms, le Ah, vous êtes anglais? Oui, c'est vrai, et nous chercherons pour un château. Vous parlez français très bien, mademoiselle. But it is okay. I speak English. Where is it? You are looking for. The Chateau de Fantôme. Chateau de Fantôme? You cannot be serious. Oh, but we are, yeah. When I spoke to him on the phone, the owner, Monsieur Gould, he said it was a lovely place. Monsieur Gould? How can that be? In the village, we thought that Monsieur Gould, the owner, had died 13 years ago. <gasps> right, fingers, the world's our hostage. What do you fancy, Paris or Saint-Tropez? Boss. What colour was the teddy we hid the jewels in? Green. Now I fancy Paris myself. I thought so. Only now it's pink. Listen, it could be red with blue spots for all I care, as long as it's got the jewels inside. It hasn't. What? But it has got this tag on it. If this bear should ever roam, smack its bum and send it home to... Who's guest house? He'll top bottom UK. Oh, no! Hilltop Bottom. Uh, That's a coincidence. That's where that bloke on the boat lives. I oh, know! He must have got a bags mixed up, so now we've got his bear and he's got ours. The one um, with the, the jewels inside! inside. Oh, i him. If you want to go on, that is the Chateau de Fontaine. Well, mercy been, Monsieur. Take more than a spooky-looking old shadow to scare us goggles. <laughs> Besides, I've already paid the deposit. Au reservoir. Good luck, mes brave. I hope you survive your visit to Chateau de Fontaine. Especially you, mademoiselle. Gordon Goggle and family. Uh, we, we, we spoke earlier. Thank <laughs> you. 